What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? <clears throat> we are back. I am playing Dragon Age Origins, and my character is a Jamie Lannister lookalike with a giant, bushy fucking goatee. It is glorious. We just got to a new area. Ostagar, forgive me, I haven't, I'm not too familiar with the Dragon Age <coughs> lore and universe. Um, so we just got to Ostagar, we joined the Grey Wardens. Um, if you're just catching up, this is going to be, I'm going to try to do the entire Let's Play, but I'm going to try to do it as thorough as possible. Let's see, where am I going? Let's just jump right into it. Um, that's not what I wanted, that's what I wanted. All right, joining the Grey Wardens, you have arrived at the King's Camp just outside the core Kari Wilds in the ruin known as Ostagar. Duncan has told you that when you are ready to begin the joining, you should seek out the Grey Warden named Alistair somewhere in the camp. All right, premium content. I don't even know what this is. I guess it came with the game. Journey to Sultra's Pass, where a troubled merchant awaits with a deal that may just be too good to be true. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do the joining. We can uh, we can get to Sultra's Pass later. Let's make that active. Alright, now let's get going. So if you're just joining, um, <clears throat> this game is... I mean, you probably know what this game is. It's it's an amazing game. Um, I'm just... I'm upset that I have not got to play it until now. Dragon Age Inquisition just came out, so I wanted to really... I wanted to really, really play that, but I really wanted to finish 1 and 2 first before I got into it. Because I know you don't have to, but it makes the story that much better. These graphics aren't that bad. Um, I'm curious to know how you got you to this video. Yes, I am. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Um, where's Duncan's tent? Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the Royal Encampment. Most of your fellas are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. I'm looking for a Grey Ward named Alistair. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the Mages. Tell me about Ostagar. Used to be a fortress a long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the Lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Is there anywhere to get supplies? Quartermaster. He's just a bit to the northwest. Where's the king? Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes even without his bodyguard. Drives Tern Loghain wild, that does. Circle of Magi's here? A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy, quiet fellows, the Tranquil. It gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. Do I hear dogs barking? This is for the Elden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the darkspawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. Hmm, I'll be on my way. Alright, so as I was saying, curious to know how you got to this uh, to this video. Curious to know if you like this video. Curious to know if you want to see more. So just leave me a comment. Um, please hit the like button. I'd like to get as many likes as possible. Helps me keep moving. Um, also subscribe if you want. It's, it's preferred, but I'm not here to pressure anybody. Royal Enclave. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. Tell me about the king. You must see him a lot. I suppose I do, but it wouldn't be prudent to discuss the king's business with you. I should Persuasion. go. Guess my uh, my persuasion skill isn't <coughs> great enough. Logan's tent. King Kalen's tent. Let's go check out this Logan. You approach the tent of Terran Logan. State your business. Is the Terran inside? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Surely you can tell me a little about him. I suppose, him. as long as we talk quietly. He and the King have been arguing for days. 
The Tern's known the king since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks his mind, and the king yells right back. Personally, I think the king should do what Tern Logan tells him. Without the Tern, I wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Would like an audience with the Terran, please. Don't be absurd. He can't give an audience to everyone who walks up here, you know? Not just anyone. My father was Terran Kuzlin. Oh. I didn't know. Hold on, I'll get him. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. How did you know that? His Majesty could not contain his excitement after your meeting. How could I not hear about you? Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Fascination you don't share? The Wardens are impressive, but not as relevant as Kalen thinks. You look familiar. Have I seen you at the lands meet? My father was a Terran of Hyover. The King told me of his promise. I'm certain he has every intention of following it through. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? I certainly hope so. Here for the glory, huh? Fair enough. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. Hmm. You don't seem very fond of him. He is Marek's son, and the leader of my beloved Ferelden, and a very young man. I try to keep that in mind, as should you. Well, sir, you rubbed me the wrong way. Slightly. It's over here. It's Duncan's fire. Hmm. Duncan's got a big old fire. Oh, that's what was making all that noise. Walter! What's happening, my man? Duncan... I don't really feel like talking to you right now. Go. Welcome to the king's camp, my lord. You there? Oh. I do not wish to speak. What's your name? Not before the battle begins. It, 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 it's Pitt, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. If you have business with the Ash Warriors, I suggest you speak to them. I have no business with the Ash Warriors. Guess I can't go over there. Let's see. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. We stand here in this hour, good folk of Ferelden, and we can't. Ten Loge may not think much of Grey Wardens. Death is no but the king was wise friends. to bring you here. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the maker in the land beyond the fade, he shall not find you wanting. Are you talking directly to me? Madame? Maybe not. Bow our heads and <coughs> What's happening with you, pot lady? Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynn, one of the mages summoned by the king. Pleased to meet you, Wynn. Well met. And good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Will you be fighting beside the king? Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. You've faced Darkspawn before? Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Hmm, I know... The fate is where you go when you dream. Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. What's the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Devinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. And is that true? It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Hmm. <laughs> I'll just kill every Darkspawn I see. Attitude. It's worked well for me in the past. 
But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. I'm certain, so I'll be on my way. Where to now? Sir, who are you? Any last wishes? I well, you're not what I thought you'd be. And who are you? The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. What do you know about this ritual? I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. So what? That wouldn't frighten me. Wait, the wilds, let's We're go with right that. on the northern edge of the Kakari wilds here, miles and miles of savage country. My home village isn't far, and I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. Hmm, why would they send us into the forest? Sounds like some kind of test. Maybe we'll hunt us a souvenir or two. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. Hmm. I wouldn't be here if I'd... Uh, I'm looking forward to it. You sound just like the bloody knight. Well, more power to you. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Noted, Davith. And who is your lady friend? How do you do? Nobody, I guess. Quartermaster. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Can't say that I have, no. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or buy the maker up. No. Oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Hmm. Do you need help tracking this girl? I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find her myself. Okay. What kind of supplies Arms do you have? Armor for the most part. It's for the king's men, but uh, you grey wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Ooh. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> Let me see your other goods. So long as you keep it quiet. All right. <clears throat> Quartermaster. What is all this stuff? Bombs. Double baked Mabari Crunch. Hmm. I I'm gonna sell some of this shit I don't need. Like this axe. Don't want these daggers. I'm gonna keep that great sword. Um I wanna sell those long bows. Studded leather gloves. Are these shittier? Yeah. The same. Studded leather boots. We're rocking the same. Armor. Shittier. Can't get that yet. Get rid of that. Kuzlin guard shield. I'll keep those two. Silver ring. Can you? I don't know if you can wear rings. I'll check that out before I get rid of this. What is this? Fine tree the lambskin suitable for exacting illustration of script. Eh. I don't really know what the fuck I need yet, so... Can I pick locks? Shall be done. No. So I'm not really gonna, gonna buy too much or sell too much. Who are you? Welcome, young man. Who are you? I am <laughs> one of the tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. You speak very strangely. Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Hmm, because magic is powerful and dangerous. It is dangerous beyond its power. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily, and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil. Stripped of emotions and talent, I am no longer dangerous. Sounds like a horrid practice. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. 
Hmm. I feel badly for you, my man. You do? I feel nothing. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive, productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. Do you need assistance? Eh, I should Goodbye. go. Goodbye. You kind of creeping me out. Is this locked? That, that begun. course of action is inadvisable. Oh shit! That was his chest. My bad, dude. Just thought that was random chest. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. The mages must not be interrupted. Their spirits are in the fade. Yeah, they look like they're in the fade, all right. They've been fading some uh some good shit. I apologize. I'll go elsewhere. The mages must shit. not be interrupted. Yeah, yeah, Their yeah. Spirits are in the I apologize. I'll go elsewhere. And this time, I'm not trying not to right click on you again. All right. Let us go. Is that weirdo? Let us go over here. See what's crackalacking around these parts. Who is that? Servant. Are you the red-haired servant? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, but there's so much. I'm sorry, but there's so much to do before the battle. Oh, I apologize. I must attend to my duty. Oh, you. you better apologize. Somebody hiding around back here. Is this locked? God damn, everything is locked. If I would have known that, I would have at least... I don't know what I would have done. I don't know if there's anything I could have done. Here we go. This must be Alastair. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Maid. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. Calm down, George Lopez. You know, one good thing about the blight is how it brings people together. You are a very strange man. You are not the first to tell me that. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. You must be Alistair. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Joining? <clears throat> Sounds sexy. Pleased to meet you. My name is Aiden. Right. That was the name. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? Have you? When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. That argument I saw, what was that With about? The, mage. the circle is here at the king's request, and the chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. You were a mage hunter? Not that that's all Templars do, but yes, the chantry raised me until Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. You don't have to accompany me, do you? Don't worry, I'll try not to embarrass you. What about the other recruits? Dabith and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? I've met Dabith. Right, that cut purse Duncan conscripted. I'm not sure what Duncan sees in him, to be honest. Keep an eye out. Maybe we'll see the other one. Or I can track him down later. Let's go. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Party members and tactics. When you're not controlling them, party members act according to the tactics you set. Set. Select Alistair by left-clicking on him or his portrait. 
Now open the tactic screen by clicking on the highlighted icon or pressing backslash. You can use the conditional tactic slots to design custom behavior for each character or simply select preset tactics. Change Alistair's preset to defender. Okay. What now? Nothing, Alistair. Is this locked? God damn it, man, I swear. Everything's locked. Let us go. The house symbol must be the quartermaster. <clears throat> Did I go up here? There's... Ah. A whole new area. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. No, I haven't. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. Hmm. Tell me what you're in there for. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. And I bet you're as innocent as the sunrise. Eh. Did you desert? I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. It matters to me if your cause is just. <laughs> You're a funny one. They won't listen to you no matter what you think. Not that I wouldn't mind you trying. You're a good sort. And it's not as if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Just not when they caught me is all. Hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe. I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Who is this prisoner? They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the king, right? Why did he want to desert? Why does anyone want to desert? Because he thinks he's going to die and he's a bloody coward, that's why. Either that or he's been listening to a bunch of hogwash about how the darkspawn will drag you off and eat you. Seems a waste for you to guard him all day. I can't just let him go, can I? The army will figure out what to do with him. Probably just waiting for someone important to make a decision. Then they'll hang him, I expect. And I can go and do something else. I had a chat with him, actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. He claims he wasn't deserting. What a surprise. Another innocent prisoner. But anyway, it's not for me to say. He'll get his day to plead his case, or he won't. It's all the same to me. He asked for some food and water. Chitty now. Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. So you miss one meal, this man could be hanged soon. So? It's not up to me to make sure he gets fed. My Jedi mind trick failed. What if I buy it? How's ten silver sound? Hmm. Ten silver. Well, feed him if you want to. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm gonna say it was you. Just so you know. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Here's some food. Much obliged. You're a kind soul, you are. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. Alistair approves, I see. Is that locked? Yes. God damn it. Alright. What's what's going on over here? Who are you? Priest? Knight? Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? No, I prefer not to. Then be gone, heathen. That the Grey Wardens accept the likes of you is forever their greatest weakness. Hmm. Out of my sight, heathen. I must heathen. The maker's work for Just because I don't want your damn blessing, you crazy woman. Nurse. You may not want to remain here long, Warden. Most of these men have been tainted by the dark spawn life. I'll remain up in that ass. Sorry, the main army camp is off limits for you right now. All right. My bad.
All right, let's get this ritual going. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Nick. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sajori, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. A maiden, pleased to meet now you. Then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. Hmm. Finally, some action. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> darkspawn aren't renowned for their willingness to offer up their blood. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Hmm. How will we find this archive? It will be an overgrown ruin by now, but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. Find the archive in three vials. Got the it. Scrolls contain treaties promising support. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. All right. Leveled up. Let's see what's crack a lacking. I'm gonna drop that to 18 because I recall seeing a sword that required me to have 18 strength. What else we got? Let's do that. Um, and dexterity or cunning. I'm gonna go with cunning. Next. Next, please. Oh wow, this is uh different. Coercion. The character is influential enough to convince others to change their views. Strength contributes to a more intimidating character, whereas cunning contributes to a more persuasive character. Stealing. Trap making. Is there lock picking? Stealing. Let's see. Survival. The character can detect the presence of nearby creatures. Herbalism. Doesn't sound bad. Um. Combat tactics. Character formulate strategies quickly in battle. Gains his combat tactical slot. Uh, I don't really see. Um, experience combat gains more. Top tier weapon talents. I don't. Let's see, lock, I don't know how to pick a lock. Maybe I got to be the other, uh, the roguish character. Let's go with uh, I'm gonna go with coercion. All right, what's okay? <clears throat> weapon and shield. I want to try the two-handed. Maybe I want to keep the weapon and shield for now. Um, let me just beef that up a little more. Shield defense. While this mode is active, the character drops into a defensive stance that favors the shield, gaining a bonus to defense. Shield block. Um, practice fighting with the shield improves the character's guard. Enemies can no longer flank the character on the shield carrying side. Let's do that. Alright. What are we doing now? We're going this way. But, the video's getting kind of long. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Me and my uh, ragtag band of, uh, of recruits and, and Dean from Supernatural right here. That's what Alistair looks like. Straight, man. Yeah, I think it's the hair though. We are going to head into the Kukari Wilds. But join us next time. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment below. Later, guys.